Hello, everybody. As I said, I'm Guillaume de Smet. I am uh, part of the product team at Spedi, but I used to run a global community. I was the VP of community at Startup Grind. And as running a community, one of the most important things is to be able to get information to the right people at the right time. As you're running at a high speed, high pace, a lot of things are coming through the emails and through different various places. You might be running a product community. We needing to have feedback for the product or capture feedback, or maybe you're running a nonprofit community or a actual a community around your, um, around, around the product or products. Just a relief that you might be running around, like startup liners around entrepreneurship, et cetera. And as a result, you do need something to be able to record or to get feedback or to train your organizers on it or to train people on, on the product, et cetera, et cetera. And as a result, there are many tools out there. There's Loom, which one you can look at. And there's also one that we use that sort of cry, but also at Bevy, which is called cloud app. I'll drop a link into the thing that is cloud app. And I'm just going to show you and walk you through how that looks, how it works and the basics around it. So I'm just going to share my screen here with you and cool. So you should be seeing that in about, there we go. Should be seeing it now. So I've just got a example here. We're busy with a product and writing it out. This is one of the upcoming products coming soon. Figma and one of the designers says, oh, they want to tweak something on this dashboard over here, or I need to give feedback on this dashboard over here for the designer, then it's very quick and easy for me to open up cloud app. And as you can see, there are several options. I can do screenshots. I can do a record, a GIF. I can maybe upload images to my cloud app, which I'll talk about later. Do a delayed screenshot, which is great for if you're having to open up contextual menus, you could do a delayed screenshot etc. These top ones over here are all associated with shortcuts that I've set up. So for me uh, on Windows, so Control Shift S is my one. I could totally change it to Control Shift V if I wanted to. Obviously that won't work under context. Um, but Control Shift is my go-to shortcut. So all I'm going to do is if I need to give back feedback is go Control Shift S and it allows me to immediately grab that screenshot that I want. The minute I've done this, I've set it up to copy the content to my clipboard. So it's immediately on my clipboard. I can now go to Eli and say, please see mockups here. And then drop it, control paste, it drops it into place and off I send it to a um, large, great, super simple. So that's how easy it is just to take a shot and send it off. But maybe you want to give a bit more context to that. So if you go into your cloud app, and more, you will see that I've got the screenshot of annotate, which is alt shift S. So I just actually type in alt shift S, uh, take a screenshot of that section over there, and it will pop up and immediately allow me to annotate it when I can type in my text, which I can move around at data stages. I can say, please make sure that over there is a little bit bigger, maybe blur out some sensitive information, et cetera. And then I can either copy the direct link to it or copy the content to it. And I'll click the copy content. Once again, I can go here and say, add these changes. It's always been nice to put the designs. And off it goes. That is Cloud App. That is the screenshot feature of it. To record something, once again, I just click the record button or Alt Shift 6 in this case. And now I'm able to record the full screen. Maybe I can record a section of the screen. Maybe I'd like to put my camera on, which I want to do now, but you can put your camera on and actually have a little camera appearing. Let's just see. And, uh, or I can even record a GIF or GIF as some people call it. So you can do those kind of recordings in those kind of regions. I'm going to select a region now over here and I can start recording. And you'll see that my camera icon will pop up on the side, which you won't know because I'm busy using my camera in another application. And once I'm finished, click finish, and I'm able to send this recording through to Elijah or anybody on my team or any platform that you want to. The really great part about this is that once they do open that link and go to it, just browse it, we'll see that they will come to the recording and they'll be able to view the recording. They'll be able to give us some thumbs up. They can post some comments on this recording. They can share this with other people. Maybe you want to download it. 
et cetera, et cetera. And if you are logged in, you've got further access. You can also find all of your um, recordings and all of your information. So maybe your computer died and you need to go from one computer to another computer because I switched between two computers when I'm traveling and when I'm at home. The data and information stays with me because it's all in the cloud stored there and I'm able to access it whenever I want to. As you can see, it goes back months and months or I can access the information directly on the actual interwebs in the browser over here. And there we go, I've got access to it. I can do connections. I can tag it accordingly, store it, create folder structures around it, share those folders with people. Like, for example, everything that uh, Grand Directors needed to know was all in this folder, et cetera, et cetera. There we go. That is a cloud app. Any questions? Nice.